Aquarius, thank you so much for coming into my channel. Thank you for supporting my work and just tapping in and seeing what spirit has for you. We're going to be um, taking a look at can you trust this person and should you go further with somebody? What is your extra love? What is the love messages for you? And I wanted to say thank you so much for being um, having the most views on one of my short readings. That was amazing. So as you can see, I'm tuning into my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node right now. I wonder if these will light. I think I put them out. I like these candle spirits. I think that one's out. Doesn't matter. Okay, Aquarius, let's take a look, lovelies. Okay. So, thank you so much for gifts that you give, donations. Uh, they're very, very, very appreciated, without a doubt. So. Before we look at what the angel messages are, let's pull the tarot. All right. Holy Spirit, thank you so much for helping me to tap into my Aquarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give them a love message. What's coming up? What do they need to know? What does Aquarius, what will come up for the best and highest good of my Aquarians? Thank you so much for hitting that like button so that you can find more of my videos when they're uploaded. The algorithm's tricky, and if you don't hit the like button, we don't see my videos, and that is a shame. Holy Spirit, bring in your bring in your blessing to my Aquarius. Thank you, Lord, for every one of them. I pray for their up, uplifting, for their, their divine guidance, for their peace and happiness, and for love unconditional to find my aquas. Strength. You have the strength card and the hangman in reverse. Wow. So that's either you or it's a Leo who's who's trying to come your direction. The strength card means that you've overcome some battles and you've, you've fortified your opinions, your placement, who you are, what your decisions are. You fortified it. It's like, no, no, absolutely not. Do not cross that line, right? The hangman in reverse is either representing somebody that is moving towards you, moving out. Or making movement in general. Okay, no. No. This is someone that you were connected to that's completely in the reverse. The four of wands in reverse. That person is not happy. Somebody's not happy about somebody in their past. Six of cups. No doubt about it. Doesn't have to be a water sign, you guys. It could just be um, someone that you have known. Tell me about this person. Show me who this person is for my aquas. <clears throat> Let me share with you who this was. We have an empress in reverse. Now, this is somebody who had privilege before God, the ability to create, the ability to make things right, the ability to heal, and not just herself, but everyone, and to build a business. This person was not building. They were not creating. They were destroying. And then this is what I'm hearing, and I'm just going to channel. If it's your message, it's your message. If it's not, it's not. But if you hit that like button, I will love you forever. Here goes. <clears throat> the Empress in reverse does not create. She destroys. Okay? So, yeah. And this could have been a um, Gemini for some of you. What were they trying to create? Knight of Swords. See, they were doing something in the background they weren't telling you about. Yeah, for sure. Why did you have to get inner strength? Because you're the emperor. You're somebody in power and control. Yeah, you're the king of cups as well. You're very loving. For being an, being an Aquarius, you have a very, very big heart. Yeah, you do. You're like emotionally mature. What's wrong with this person, though? What's wrong with this person? Identify them just a little bit more spirit for my aquas. See, here's the problem. I know exactly what the problem is, why you're not getting along with this person. You're an emperor. You do have faith in God. You walk with Christ or you walk with a, a very full, responsible heart. You have a lot of inner fortitude and strength, Aquarius. And this person absolutely had no faith in this relationship. They, they thought they could manipulate. The magician is manipulating spiritual energy. Oh, yes, it is. Yep, and they have absolutely no patience whatsoever. Um, they they haven't tempered their self like you. They're completely in a different world, uh, energetically speaking. Yeah, 
Why is this? What do you have to look out for? Yeah, they're in the five of pentacles. I'm thinking you stuck to your guns, okay? Because God, if you don't separate from someone that hurts you, then God will do it for you. And then the pain will be twice as hard because then you have to reckon with God. But then you can get at peace because the Most High will work with you. Tell me what's going on with this person now. What's going on with this person right now? They're out of the cold. They tried to play you. You stuck to your guns. Said F no. No, F no, F no. See, they're not working with you. They cannot work with you. They can't build anything right now because of the damage they inflicted on you. So God gave them a tower, a sudden event that shook their world really hard. Because they were negative, it's an empress in reverse. They uh, obviously were pretending to be a holy one when they were a foul I heard the word foul energy. They were a foul energy. That means that you take God's wonderful gifts, the gifts that are given to them, the unconditional love that Aquarius shows, and they just spit on it. And they play and play with you. And you're like, no, I'm an emperor. You better get the hell off my page. I'm not kidding. So your breakthrough. <clears throat> what, is, what is the breakthrough for my beautiful Aquarians in this situation? Next move. I could have done a Celtic cross. I didn't feel like it. Here goes. Aquarius is next move. Revival. The star. Judgment. Queen of Wands. Oh, yeah. Okay. Judgment. Your next move might actually be the Pisces. And this Pisces, uh, you call judgment on something, but you're being revived. I don't think you're doing anything with them. Because, you see, the Queen of Wands is here. So she's asserting domination. She's powerful, making decisions. Um, but mostly just taking action. She's very sexy and beautiful. Somebody has met... And Aquarius has met a fantastically gorgeous, out-of-this-world Pisces or, an, or a fire sign. And they're just head over heels. Honey, you're the star. You're the star, which means you you have hope. There's hope here. There's healing here for you. There's passion here for you. There's What is a judgment card? The judgment card is movement for you. It means that you get a chance to move. Eight of Wands, your energy is reviving. You're going in a whole new direction. That's what it means. Judgment has been called for you. You're moving away. Look at the posture. Moving away from the storyline. Yeah? What else for my beautiful aquas? And we'll talk about money, too. Yeah, and you're saving money and you're preserving energy right now. Things are a little tough financially for you, but you're still the star. You're still the healer. You're still the transformer here. Not Scorpio this time. This is you. Yeah. And um, you may be holding back from this King of Wands, who was the Empress, right, in reverse, because they had the Five of Wands. They always brought uh, some kind of shift, energy shift, something that wasn't good for you, so God called judgment. You're getting a brand new start. Page of Wands is coming to say yes. Yes, you've been up in your head because of the damage of this situation, but you called judgment so you got your strength and you move forward, right? With your big, beautiful heart and you're hopeful. You have hope. The Four of Pentacles means you're saving money or reserving your energy for this new start that's coming. And this could be a page of wands coming in to let you know that, honey, I have eyes on you. This is a good thing. Who's God bringing into my Aquarius? Who is, who's coming in? I say, God, you know what that means to you. You know what it means to you. It's the higher power. Who is he bringing in? Let's see. Okay, well, first, before he brings somebody in, the world card happens. This means you have to take authority over what's going on, and you have to end a cycle and start a new one, because you are, indeed, the star. Tell me about this world. Yeah. What this means is the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands. It's been up in your head. It's made you suffer mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And you've got strength now, okay? You saw it for what it was, and now you're shifting it and ending it. Yes, you are, because you're going into healing, wholeness, 
and possibly a very new start. A very new start, which means fresh energy, right? Fresh energy. And you're going to be putting up your guard. Um, you probably have every reason to, like, change passwords, um, things like that. What's going on here? Okay, guess where you're going. So this is your blessed message. The Six of Swords means that you've learned your lesson from things. You only, you only know that you have to uh, protect yourself. Be calm. Focus on your goals. Keep the peace. Take what you need, what you've learned, and leave some thoughts behind. Leave it behind. It's spiritual. Go into your spiritual rest. Why do you need to do that? Look what they gave you. Two of Cups. So there are there is someone here that will definitely be assigned to you. Even after a long marriage, you can still do this. You can still find somebody beautiful because God's bringing them to you. There's your Nine of Cups. Yeah. And as far as the other person, he's got them blocked. Very blocked. Very blocked. And as for you, there's hope for your future. And all you need to do, Queen of Swords, is make sure that you, your choices, Seven of Cups, are extremely clear when you're praying. Make sure they're extremely clear. That's really nice. Now you see the person that caused you to have to be strong. But now you're the star in the sun and the Queen of Swords. You have the Seven of Cups, which says to choose wisely from your heart. Don't make the same mistake. Six of Swords is you're, not, is you're not making the same mistake again. Show us the course of this reading, please, for my beautiful Aquarians. Yeah, there was an emotional desert. There was an activity in isolation for a long time. You were tired. You know that you're special. But you're coming up from the depths. You're coming up from the loss, releasing difficulties with hope and optimism. Nice. I like that, you guys. Keep going. Yeah, you're being guided by your spirit mentors and teachers. Yeah, you're looking for all the answers. Yep, and you're, some of you guys have the ability, the magician. You have the ability. Where are you at? Hold on. Here's the magician. You have the ability to reinvent things. You have the ability to do that. Mental clarity, queen of swords. Teachers, mentors, letting go of urgency. That's, a, that's like a... And tapping more into your sensitivities. Dreams, visions, and receptivity. Showing soulful appreciation to your soul and to your to God. And coming into union with people that are more like you. Yeah, mindful, like you. Peaceful, quiet, mindful. Seeking love, seeking the truth. What do you have for Aquarius? Two of Cups came up with a honeymoon. So that might be something coming up for you. So you have to stay optimistic, loves. What else do you have here? What do you have, uh, angels for my Aquarians? Thank you guys for hitting the like button. I really, I really need you to do that, or otherwise, otherwise my channel's just disappearing. So you are the core, you are the force behind keeping my channel alive. And I love you so much. I've read for you since 2018. Oh yes, I have. I know my Aquarians really well. And thank you. Hi, Jocelyn. And hi, um, <clears throat> Joanne. You're following your inner calling. And you're raising your vibration. Some of you are being initiated into a, 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 new, um, a new truth. Speaking your truth. There is strength again. So the first card out was strength. And the last card out is strength. Yes. What does this show for them then? Moonology deck. Aquarius. Okay. A personal issue is going to reach a resolution for you soon. So you may be doing something in your life that you need to settle or will be settled. I don't know. It could be a court case. It could be anything. It has to settle. The truth is the truth is the truth. A new romantic cycle has begun for you. Go for it, Aquarius. Yeah, go for it. One more for Aquas. And do not, do not let pride get in your way. Because there's healing going on for you. Yeah. All right. 
And then what do I have here from the word that should be encouraging for those of you who believe? He says, he tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. Isaiah 40, 11, about the Lord. Yes, and for those that have come against you, the wages of sin is death. Death. I got a tower moment. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6, 23. Absolutely, without a question. Some of you are amazing. And what does Michael Archangel want to say to you? Step into the spotlight. You guys are stars. Somebody needs to see you. They need to know you, you flow. What do we have here for aquas? Take a moment. Take a moment. Step back. Step back. Make sure you throw out some, critis some um, forgiveness because you have to in order to clear this light for this new person. All right, this is your reading. Thank you so much for liking. Sub thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the all bell if you really enjoyed this. I'll bring you some more. Let's close out with the uh, miracle tone. For Aquarius' sake, I definitely hope that they have the power to let go of the past, move into the future, and let the divine help them speak their truth, use their gifts and talents, find the right people in their life, and find this beautiful Two of Cups. Things are about to settle for you. And in the comments, you should say, I am blessed. Thank you so much for your love. If you want to get in our free readings, you can join me on Patreon.com. Any donator, actual donator, to help, you're actually literally helping me. So that's, um, you can join me on patreon.com tomorrow. I'm allowing my uh, members um, and subscribers on Patreon to bring forth their gifts, their spiritual gifts. We're having meditation tomorrow, which is a future forward meditation. Extremely advanced, extremely beautiful. By the extremely beautiful, my friend Jen, uh, she's a Gemini and she's in England. So she'll be leading us in a beautiful future forward meditation at the same time we're extremely conscious of past life regressions right aquas and we're very aware of it that some things are still there and i can help you clear some of that stuff out if you want um totally up to you we can discover things i do a very thorough advanced message which is uh it's very advanced and thorough. It includes past life healing, a Mayan oracle reading, so we can find out why you're why you're actually here, what you're missing, what you mentioned. If you have questions about your own uh, path, we can verify many, many things uh, for you. I'm not speaking too clearly. I'm going to go take a nap. But anyway, this is for my beautiful aquas, and I hope that it blessed you. Let me know in the comments. I thank you for loving me. Okay? Namaste, my beautifuls. Bye.